Hey guys, this is Mega Monkeys. I wanted to show you some free uh, piece of 3D software that I thought you might be interested in. I know a lot of people pirate stuff, like I do that, uh, but there's also some great free alternatives and things you might want to add to your tool set to, uh, to help you out. So first off, I'm going to start with uh, Daz 3D Studio. I haven't used this that much, but the reason I wanted to, wanted to talk about it first was because it's only going to be free for a limited time. Normal price is 50 bucks, but they're having a special promotion right now. Um, and so the really cool thing about Daz is uh, this Genesis figure, which is, it comes, uh, like when you open a new file, this is already here. I added the clothes and hair, but the figure is here, uh, so I didn't need to do any modeling. But what's really cool about it is that it comes already rigged. Sorry, it's going really slow because I'm recording and stuff too. But it's fully rigged, as you can see. So I don't need to do any of that stuff. Like there's the IK and FK. And um, you can see all that bending, which I think is really cool. But the coolest part is the Genesis figure, which I was talking about. And uh, it will deform based on these settings that you give it um, but all the UVs and the clothes and anything that you put on it it deforms with the figure which is really cool so I'll bring her up to be a female you see uh, that changed some things but all the clothes went with it I don't have any UVs because to be honest I don't really know how like or what to do for UVs I don't have much experience in that but all of, you have to imagine that all this would uh, uh, would deform with it. So let's say make her really fat, and you can see everything deforming with her, and all the rigging and everything is still intact. And it normally runs much smoother. It's just my computer is not in the best shape to um, be recording in running 3D software and uh, all these clothes and stuff there are these presets and you can make your own and there you can also download more um, and uh, yeah I think that's really powerful software the fact that everything uh, deforms with it um, so yeah I think that's worth checking out and if you download it now you'll never have to buy it uh, which you would have to otherwise, which I think is pretty cool. And the next one I'm going to show you is called View, which I'd heard of before, but I didn't realize that there's a version of View called View Pioneer that's free. Um, and so if you don't know what View is, is it um, it makes uh, it's a landscape generating uh, software, which I think is really cool. Like I made a tutorial, uh, I think last week, um, on how to make a really simple tutorial in Cinema 4D. And you can make way more powerful things in much less time using this. So I'll just show you. I'll make a... Um, a uh, just a really quick landscape right here. Um, I just forgot all the shortcuts because... I haven't used this in a while, but alright, so as you can see, I just made a landscape and I will zoom out and alright, so we have our little island, and to make it a real island. We'll add some water. Um, okay, and bring that down a little bit. Or up, sorry. And um, we can go into our terrain. And there are all these editors that you might notice uh, recognize some of this stuff if you use uh, sculpting software like uh, ZBrush or Mudbox, or I'm going to show you a another piece of software that's free also um, 
but you can do all the sculpting and stuff and then when you close this you'll see it show up there and you can add like trees vegetation and props and all that stuff and um, you can add oops a add materials um, and they have a bunch of preset materials and all these kind of things that you would need so let's uh, let's give it hmm okay let's try this and give the sea some real water to liquids oops get some water and then we'll just do a quick render and you can see it's a procedural render it goes pretty quickly um, and this is just really quickly made and I should you should change with the water because usually it's too transparent in my opinion and wow that material looks really bad so I should probably pick a different one. Wow, that's the second time I've done that. Uh, so that you don't think this program sucks because it's actually really awesome. Um, whoops. Yeah, let's go with this one. This looks more simple. See how that looks? Okay, it looks pretty bad too. I'm going to overlay some renders or something here to show you that it's actually not that bad because that's a really bad example, but I'm going to try and do this all in one take. So, um, yeah. So next one, I was talking about sculpting software. Um, this was a program called Sculptress, which is made by uh, Pixelogic, who makes ZBrush, which is probably the most uh, popular um, sculpting software out there um, and uh, yeah so it's not it doesn't have the functionality of ZBrush like you can't do all the crazy things that you can in ZBrush but it does have the basic tools like crease rotate scale grab flatten draw inflate pinch and smooth um, and uh, yeah, it's uh, for most people like that aren't professionals. I think that Sculptress um, is very powerful, and you can do a lot with it. Um, but it doesn't have a lot of that really uh, really fancy stuff. And what's cool about it is um, you can see all these polygons. And uh, it only makes polygons where you need it, so there's not a set um, polygon count. You don't need to subdivide things. Well, you can still subdivide all like that, but um, I don't remember what it's called. It's called tessellation or something, dynamic tessellation. So it only adds polygons where you need it. So you can see all of these uh, polygons. Okay, that's a bad example. Why am I going backwards? This is really, um, okay, but you can see these triangles being created as I paint. So you don't need to, um, set up, uh, your resolution or worry about subdividing or anything. Uh, it just goes when you need it. So you can see over here, there's lots of triangles and over here, there are very few. Uh, and so, yeah, this isn't very great, but it kind of shows you, um, just quickly what you can do, uh, good for organic modeling. And then Blender, um, which is probably the most likely that you've heard of on this list. It's, uh, 3D modeling software similar to, um, uh, to Cinema 4D or Maya or 3ds Max, it kind of does the same thing as that, but it's completely free, 
and it does uh, you can do some things that you can't do in those other programs like for example I just showed you some uh, some sculpting and in uh, in Blender sculpting is actually built in uh, where is sculpting um, okay well anyway you'll have to trust me on that one uh, and it's got all these different um, uh, workflows uh, which so this is the default one I made this one to help me work better it has built-in compositing which is really cool you can have a video and if you're compositing into a live action video you can do that right in here um, it has a built-in game engine which is really cool I haven't done anything with that because I don't know how um, it's got a UV painter uh, video editing uh, animation why am I not finding sculpting? Um, I feel dumb right now because I'm trying to show you this. Oh, edit mode um, and sculpt mode. So I don't really know how to sculpt in this, but if I did, then it's got some tools here to to help me, which this should look familiar if you use ZBrush um, or Sculptress, which I just showed you. Um, so this is really powerful. I know my model isn't very good. Um, I'm just trying to learn. Uh, so, yes, I'll close that. And the last one, it's another one I'm not very qualified to show you. It's called Project Photofly. Um, I'll show you the website. Actually, the website, the links for all of these will be in the description. Maybe as annotations as they come up also. But Project Photofly is really cool. It's from Autodesk, who make Maya and 3ds Max and AutoCAD and lots of other 3D software. Um, and what it is, is uh, it lets you take photos from all around an object, and it uploads those photos from your computer that you take with whatever digital camera, and uploads them to their servers. And it comes back and it gives you, just in a couple minutes, a 3D mesh that it compiles just from those photos, which is amazing. Like you should uh, search on YouTube or something, Project Photofly, and see some of the projects, and they're really amazing. And unfortunately, I'm not that smart, and it's not really working out for me, but I'm sure if I give it a, a little bit more time, I've only tried it just really quickly twice, and uh, some parts have worked out, and others haven't so well so I would not uh, count it out from this list of 3d software uh, which I hope has been helpful so as I said all of this is completely free um, although Daz Studio um, is free only for a limited time um, you see it's normally 50 bucks free for a limited time and there are these higher versions I'm not sure what's better about them um, I'm sorry, I probably should have waited to give you guys a more informed overview of each of these programs because um, I've only been using each of them for a little while. Um, but anyways, it's just kind of to inform you. And I hope you enjoyed watching this. Um, and I hope you try some of these programs out. And I hope they, they help you out in making your 3D work. So thanks for watching and goodbye.